Hey guys, it is me. We are in Joann's and I needed glue and this is not where I buy glue because it's really expensive, but I got trapped because this. And then I turned down an aisle and I went down this aisle. This is where the, all the Tim Holtz stuff is. And then I saw that and I was like, oh, so that happened that happened usually I come here with one coupon and I can get like one thing and I can get all the things because everything's on sale for 50% for off so so that's what happened that that happened and there's not very many people in here so so that's why I'm in here and that's why I'm talking to you so we can this is just a clearance thing. Sorry, guys. I stopped. These are cute. How much are they? They are not on the right rack, I think. Because there's not a... Some of this stuff doesn't have a price on it. That would be pretty on a journal. Hmm. 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 I've bought these before. I've bought these for journals before, and they're only two bucks for three um, lockets. We can do that. Two bucks for three lockets. That's pretty cheap. Okay, I don't see anything. Oh, I see stuff, but um, I am delving down a road I've been on before. I'm going to be revisiting some journals that I used to make some styles that I used to make that I always wanted to remake again and um, I thought now was the time <laughs> well I've got custom order to work on and, and that kind of thing so um, I mean definitely gonna fi finish that kind of stuff but I thought man I want to go back to some of the old school stuff that I used to do um, last year and early this year and so I needed some more supplies to be able to do to do that and so and I need a glue. I am gonna, you know what? Let's check their glue. I do have a coupon. If I can avoid going to one more store, that would rock. But the Fabri-Tac is like really, ex oh, it's gone down. It was 14, 14 something a bottle and now it's down to 10, but with, um, with a coupon, that's cheaper than, that's cheaper than Joann's. So, I mean, Hobby Lobby. So let's, ha ha, yay, yay. I don't have to go to a different store. Okay. So I'll have to use a coupon for that though because um, it's expensive stuff and it's never on sale because they know we need it. So it's like never, never on sale. And then there was something else I'm going to check out for the book smithers. Um, it sounds like a Simpsons thing. Remember Smithers? worked for Mr. Burns um, book smithers so I also need more thread all, I just need some all purpose in like a I don't know like a like a brown that's fine it's just this uh, I don't need it's not for binding pages it's just for sewing on pages so it doesn't have to be super strong <laughs> Oh, look, there's a lady. And everybody say hi. There she goes. Okay. So I'm going to check on something for the booksmithers for um, another option for the course as far as textiles to use. But I, I don't know where the, I don't know where it would be. Um, like no clue. These are the big bolts of stuff. And I've never really, oh, it's soft like um, baby blanket stuff. That's nice. Oh, you could make a journal out of that and it would just be all soft. And um, Let me see. I'm just feeling fabric. You, you kind of got to feel, you got to feel it and see if it's doable for stuff. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll just get some and then we will, we'll test it out. 
I'll just get like a sliver and test it out. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. Okay, but I can't do that while holding you guys because it's a big, huge, long, see the long rolls of stuff? It like takes, you know, four hands and I only have two, so I have to put you down for that one. <gasps> clearance. <gasps> they moved the clearance. Let's see if there's somebody around the corner. Okay, no. Oh, look. Look, there's stuff. Look at the stuff. <gasps> I don't need anything, but I love whales. I love whales. Oh my gosh, he's heavy. He's heavy. He's a heavy whale. Mm, I'm a huge whale groupie. Love me some whales. Oh gosh, that's loud. Okay. Oh, that picture's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. It's $40, but it's 70% off, which makes it $12, which makes it much more affordable than 40 bucks. I never shop here unless something's on sale or I have a coupon because I'm cheap like that. Just cheap like that. All right, guys. Well, thank you for coming along with me. We'll see if this even makes it up to on YouTube. This isn't a very exciting video. Um, ooh, there's some pretty um, um, clearance fabric. Isn't that kind of neat looking? I don't know. It's kind of kind of neat looking sometimes I come over here and but it's like down the rabbit hole because then you get all uh, sucked in with looking at all the fabric I could look at fabric forever oh isn't that pretty see how it's got this kind of this raised flourish that's kind of a pretty pretty fabric I don't know what I do with it it's just kind of neat looking all right guys all right all right and it's 50 percent off whatever the red tag is it's another 50% off so this is tempting this is tempting to find something I can I can use this is bad it's just bad people are looking at me it's kind of funny I'm getting used to it though I, I get to the point where I don't care anymore if people look at me they can look at me talking to my phone I don't care they probably think I'm talking to my Nana or something you guys can be my Nana be my Nana that's an interesting fabric. Oh, sorry, I'm not pointing at it. For like um, kitchen, like kitchen curtains or something. It's like it's like you can't. I doubt if you could see through it from the outside, but it's like it's like I don't know. It's lacy and kind of pretty. I'm not making kitchen curtains, however. That is not what I came here to do. I do not have time to make kitchen curtains. Oh my goodness! Like I said, like down the rabbit hole. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to need my two hands. And so, unfortunately, I got to let you go. And besides, my phone is dying. So, I did not pre plan this day very well. So, hey y'all. So, I just did a shop with me. Well, uh, was it shop with me or was it wander around the store with me? It was a little bit of both. Um, I just spent $84 at Joann's because. It was all on sale and usually you know how you go to Joann's and like Tim Holtz stuff is n like rarely it's 50% off like they do it a few times a year and I usually miss it but they had they had all their Tim Holtz stuff 50% off and so I kind of stocked up on everything usually I have to get like one thing at a time because I have a coupon you know and what I'm learning from you guys that don't that don't live in the US is you don't have a Joann's and that or a Hobby Lobby you have other things but not to the extent that let's see if I can fix this, not to the extent sorry that the US has it and that's I'm sorry that stinks um, we are spoiled here for choice we are absolutely spoiled for choice and I am getting in front of this guy and he can just deal with it um sorry it was okay I was using my turn signal everything was fine wasn't gonna make anybody wreck but yeah we are spoiled for choice and um, I realized that so because I was spoiled for choice today oh, roll up my windows I won't be able to hear anything I spent 
lots of money and I bought some just a scrap of really really inexpensive fabric that I'm going to test out for the booksmithers and if it works out I'm gonna let you know because um, it was just something going through my head I'm gonna see if it works um, it might not work you know how it is you have something that you think hmm this might this might actually do something and then and then it doesn't and that happens a lot so um it is hot today it is flipping hot it is probably upper 80s there's a big huge cloud here but it doesn't look like it's gonna do anything I wish we could take some of the rain from Texas and spread it around a little bit to give them a break and to give everybody else rain it's all or nothing right that's how it works out as far as weather goes there's nowhere on earth that's probably that's perfect as far as rainfall and temperature and if there is let me know I'll be on the first plane because um, I can make books anywhere right I don't I don't have an office and I can make books anywhere so that would rock if you find a temperate climate that we could all just go all of us would just just converge on this area and we'll all live in perfect weather I can deal with a lot as long as the weather's decent you got enough rain and anyway I blather on I blather um, something exciting coming up fairly soon I alluded to it when I um, responded to Carrie hi Carrie the other day about printables no just everybody get in front of me just squeeze your little stuff right in there thank you um, so hi Carrie um, about what was I saying downloads printables so something rolling around in my brain that um, as soon as I get through some work that I have um, scheduled that that has to be done because I need some time to um, formulate a plan so um, but I want to get it done sooner than later so be on the lookout for that I will let you know um, hopefully I will have some um, I'm thinking about developing um, a design team and I've got some people on a list and so um, we'll see how it works out I've never done a design team before so I don't even know if anybody will want to design with me so I have I have a list and if you are on the list I will contact you and we'll talk about it but I have to get the thing done first the thing has to be done first the you know the kit has to be done first don't look at my hair don't look at my hair I cut it again well I cut the back the back is cut um, it was my hair grows funny and maybe everybody's hair grows funny you know how one side grows faster than the other side or I don't know what it works but my hair grows funny so I had to kind of mm, trim it up a little bit and like I said I do it myself because people and um, so I'm sure it's not right I'm gonna go visit my daughter soon and she it, she went to school for cosmetology so she actually knows what she's doing she is probably gonna see her mother and she's gonna go ah, what did you do to your head and then she'll fix it so when I get back from seeing my daughter I might look totally different we'll see what happens I will trust her to fix whatever it is that I have I have broken so I'm broken all over but you know hair is one thing that maybe you can maybe you can fix other things that are broken there ain't there ain't no hope for them so we just gotta live with that um let's see um working I'm gonna be working on and I alluded to this in the store um, I'm gonna be working on some journal styles that I I used to make um, probably close to a year ago and so I am revisiting those styles and I am going to resurrect the collector and the pack rat series um, and maybe and they they're very similar the pack rats very similar to the lost and found series so I figured I just call it the pack rat just resurrect just the pack rat series because they were both very similar so we're gonna do pack rat and then collector and there's a difference I know it sounds all the same 
It's like you're just naming it stuff. You're just saying stuff to sound cool. And that's probably true. But um, so, so the difference between the pack rat and the collector is a collector is like a professional hoarder. <laughs> they get, they have a job whether they are into botany or archaeology or anthropology, you know, they have, they went to school for a certain vocation and they get paid to hoard things. The pack rat does not get paid to hoard things, they just hoard things. And so the pack rat books are, can be a, a complete conglomeration mishmash of all kinds of things. Um, was there an accident up there? Uh, don't tell me. Okay, no. Um, so that's the difference between collectors and pack rats. As far as my journals are concerned, I'm not talking about like real people. I, I don't have, I don't have the degree to like diagnose people. Um, but that's in my series, that's the difference. And so I will be, I am going to be working on a collector and a pack rat. Um, they're already here. Um, they just have to get into physical form. And I got some neat ideas that are rattling around, but I've got other things that have to be done first. And I'm the kind of person that if there's something that like has to be done, like if I have a deadline on something, I can't, it's hard for me to start something else. It's hard for me to car, um, compartmentalize um, my brain. <laughs> So, because it'll, it'll be nagging at me. It'll be like, okay, uh, you told Sarah you were supposed to get done with her journal by Thursday. And so there is, even, even if I have like, like hang time for like, like glue drying or something like that, I find it hard to start on anything else in a creative way. I mean, I can tea stain paper. That's, you know, one thing, but I can't, it's hard for me to start on another journal with another theme because I, that other thing is always nagging me in the back of the head. It is pull out in front of Nick Day. I'm just going to tell you guys that is pull out. So don't go driving. Well, if your name's Nick, it is pull out in front of Nick Day. Um, I'm impatient. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, so I need to get some stuff done so that I can work on other things. And the list of other things is growing, 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 and I have to decide priorities about what I want to accomplish, what I want to tackle first. And that's a, that's a whole other story, my friends. Um, sometimes it's difficult for me until I pinpoint a direction, until I get a focus. I Sometimes I'm very scatterbrained as far as, well, no surprise, right? It's like you're like, yeah, tell us something we don't know, Nick. Um, but I need to find a focus and get motivated on one thing at a time, which is difficult for me because when I get creative, when I get, it's like a flurry of, oh, this and this and this and this, and I'm the kind of person that I have to strike while the iron is hot because I will lose focus and motivation um, quickly, unfortunately. And so I kind of get desperate almost feeling like, oh, I've got to accomplish all these things before um, all that motivation, all that creativity is just gone and I, and I just lose my creativity. And I, I don't know if that has something to do with anxiety or depression because I do suffer from both. Um, that, that is another story, and I will catch you guys up on that soon, too, as soon as I can. Probably the end of next month, I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about that, um, if you care. You might not care, and that's cool, because um, it's just my stupid stuff. It's just stupid, random, sinkhole stuff. You know, sinkhole stuff. But anyway, well, so a lot of exciting things coming up, if I can get my brain focused. How's that? How's that for a yay? Go Nick. Go Nick. Uh, but you guys, so you guys are, you guys actually help me focus. Talking, talking this out and talking with you guys really helps me, um, to, to, um, center my focus a little bit.
better than I normally would if I don't just sit and actually talk it out. Because you can think about something all you want. <laughs> Sorry. But sometimes talking it out makes all the difference in the world. Like, all the difference in the world. Even if nobody's talking back. So, but you do talk back. You talk back in the comments and my booksmithers in the Facebook group. You guys talk back. You guys talk a lot and I love it. I love that place. Like I said, I don't go anywhere else in Facebook. I don't even know like friend requests. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Isn't that awful? I mean, I guess it's like you're saying you want to be somebody's friend, right? I guess. Do you click yes? Is this a commitment? Do I have to get a ring? Ah so much pressure. Facebook is pressure. There's my man hands again. All right, guys, I am pulling into the driveway. I am opening up the garage door. I am pulling into the garage. So I am going to let you go before it gets all dark in the garage. And um, thanks for talking to me and going shopping with me today. See you soon. Bye, guys.